I love me a good controversy. Low level gang, what is up? Welcome back. If you're not already aware, Linux kernel version 6.0 is hot off the presses, fresh, ready for you to use. And more importantly, Linus Torvald in his latest correspondence with ZDNet said that in the Linux kernel version 6.1, Rust will begin to appear in the Linux kernel. Now, before you get mad or say anything about, oh, the level gang, Rustation, whatever. I am not a full Rustation. I am not a Rust missionary trying to push Rust onto those that don't want it. I am just a purveyor of code security and I understand how insecure C is and I want to make sure that we're going in the right directions. I'm just exploring both options, so don't shoot the messenger. The question is, how did this start? Why do people want Rust to be in the kernel so bad and what does this mean for you in the future? How did we get here? In September of this year, 2022, at the Linux Plumbers Conference, it was demoed that people were actually able to create an NVMe driver for Linux using Rust, and it had performance comparable to that of C. So the question would be, if it's the same as C, why would people replace a perfectly working language like C with Rust? The issue is that of safety. Mark Rosinovich, who is the current CTO of Microsoft Azure and also the author of the Windows System Internals books, considers C and C++ to be deprecated from a safety standpoint. Microsoft reported this year that over 70% of security vulnerabilities, so CVEs, have been a result of memory corruption or memory mismanagement issues that are largely enabled by the lack of safety features of C and C++. Mark Rusinovich decided that he considers C++ deprecated and that new projects should be started with Rust. This is kind of fitting with that trend in the community where people are trying to replace legacy code like C and C++ with a new language like Rust. But don't let that get you too excited because implementing Rust into the Linux kernel is harder than it sounds for a few reasons. The first is that Rust is a fairly immature language. If you're not already aware, Rust is new-ish. I don't know the exact age, but C has been around since the 1970s. It's much more mature and people are more familiar with using it. There are features in Rust that are largely unstable that when later on in the kernel, if they decide to lean on those features, but the Rust language removes them, how do we keep those features from crashing the kernel? A current idea is to create a standards-based document that says that this version of Rust is the Linux kernel Rust. Another option is to create a Rust compiler that is compatible with the GNU front end so that it acts just like a GNU compiler. Another issue with this being in the kernel is that of adherence. If the subsystem owners and maintainers in the Linux kernel do not know Rust, are they able to just reject Rust pull requests into the kernel? I'm not sure how they're gonna handle this. Anyway, I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm not sure how I feel yet. I think it's exciting that a more safe language is entering Linux kernel, but I do understand that there are some roadblocks or obstacles ahead as we go figure it out. Leave a comment, hit subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.